Welcome, welcome. You've come for your eye test, I understand. If you just pop yourself down in that seat there, we'll uh, have a little look and see what we can do for you today. So, get yourself comfortable. Um, I just need to take a few details from you first of all. Uh, so, could I have your name? Thank you. And um, could you just confirm your date of birth, please? Yeah, I think I found you. Ah, looks as if you've had quite a few of these uh, eye tests. You obviously enjoy them, or you just have some problems with your eyes that we need to sort out. Hopefully it's the former. Everybody has some sort of issue with their eyes, um, and some people end up coming here just for a bit of fun. But some people are lucky to have hardly anything wrong with them. But let's just see what's going on with your eyes today. So, just need to get a couple more details from you if that's okay. So, is there any history of glaucoma in the family? Well, some people say glaucoma. But uh, I don't really mind. Which would you prefer me to say? Um, so any sort of medical past history with yourself in terms of your eyes? Anything that I need to be aware of? Okay. Right. Um, so any problems you've been experiencing recently with your eyes, anything that you need to let me know about, any uh, any changes, anything at all. Okay, right. Well, nearly ready, nearly ready to, to begin. Um, it seems as if you're aware with the whole process, so I probably don't need to go into in great detail. Um, but there's nothing really to worry about with this test. We're literally just looking at your eyes. And if there's anything that we can do to help you see a little better, a little clearer, um, if there's anything that we need to do to change in terms of prescription, um, things like that. So uh, some people find it quite a relaxing experience. Um, do apologize, I've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment. That's why I'm not speaking too loudly. Um, also, a fair bit of wind outside. Um, you look a bit blustery <laughs> and flustered. You must have uh, come in from the wind and rain. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just a couple more notes for me, then we'll get started. So uh, the first thing we need to do is just do a little test called the puff test. Well, I call it the puff test, uh, and it means that we are testing your eyes by using a method which puffs a little bit of air into into your eyes. And I just need to see the reaction, um, if there is one at all. Hopefully there is one when I put that air into your eyes. So what I'm going to do is. If you could kindly just focus on this, this orb here, just focus, focus on the orb. So just focus right here. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a test and you're going to feel a little puff of air and just keep focusing here and if you can try to keep your eyes open, try and stay as relaxed as possible, that'd be great. All right, so in three, two, one, puff. Great, great, okay. Another one, get ready. In three, two, one, puff. That's lovely, that's lovely. Doing very well indeed. And just one more, one more. Three, two, one. Puff. That's great. 
Thank you. Now, we actually did that with both of your eyes at the same time, but for the rest of this exam, we'll actually be testing each eye individually. Um, do you have a preferred eye that I could start with? Okay. Which would you say you um you would prefer? Okay. So as I say, you're probably quite familiar with the way that this this goes. Um, behind me, you'll see a letter chart. We'll be using that a little bit later. Um, but first of all going to do a little um, test with my little pen light here. Now can you hear that? Because that's the first test. If you can't hear that, then actually we need to get you booked in to have your hearing tested. But um, if you can hear that, then we can move on. Great. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be testing your eyes, I'm going to be looking at them, I'm going to be examining them. But what I'd like you to do is if you could kindly focus again, like with the orb, but this time focus on my nose. I know it's not the most pretty nose that you could ever have, but I'm the only one that's on duty today. So if you wouldn't mind just focusing on my nose and please try not to look away from it. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be shining a light into your eyes. I'm going to start with your left. So if you wouldn't mind covering up your right eye for me, like that, just with your hand. And I'm going to be looking in your left eye. And I'm just going to see what's happening. So if you wouldn't mind just focusing on my nose, and don't follow the light, just keep watching my nose. My nose shouldn't be doing anything, but the light is moving about, and I'm trying to do it in such a way that's difficult, but you're doing very, very well indeed. That's perfect, that's perfect. Just a little bit longer. Try and ignore the wind and rain outside. <laughs> that's uh, not part of the exam. Okay. That's wonderful. So what we're gonna do is the exact same thing, but with your right eye. So if you wouldn't mind now covering up your left eye like that, perhaps even closing your eye as well, just to make sure that we've got all bases covered and I'm going to try with your right eye now. Okay, so same procedure as before with the light. I'm so sorry it's a little bit on the bright side, um, but it allows me just to see what's going on. Okay, so keep focusing on my nose like you did before. That's wonderful. Okay, okay, okay. Keep focusing on it. I'm sorry, it's not the world's most attractive nose. But sadly, opticians are not paid enough to get nose jobs. Okay, keep staring at my nose. You're doing very well, very well indeed. Don't be tricked, don't be put off by the light that's moving around your eyes, okay. Nearly, nearly done, nearly done. Okay, okay. That's splendid. Thank you so much. Okay. Just gonna give your eyes a little bit of a break from the light and um, just move on to the next part of the exam. Just need to get a bit of water, just excuse me a moment. Okay, so that looks fine so far. Um, doesn't seem to be anything particularly wrong. Um, but I hope you're having a, 
a relaxing time, but please try not to fall asleep. I mean, if you do, I'll just need to wake you up, and it just means that it, the exam lasts a bit longer. But um, try to stay awake. But I can understand uh, with these sorts of um, exams, whenever I go for one, I get all sorts of um, tingles and things. Um, especially with slow movement and when the practitioner comes in close and looks at little bits and bobs. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn the lights off and I'm going to revert to some additional lighting because we're going to be moving on to the letters. Now you probably know the drill with this. You've got to see if you can focus on the smallest line you can possibly read um, and actually that can be quite difficult sometimes, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you um, a load of different lenses that I'll be placing on those glasses that I put on you while I was getting my water, but you didn't seem to notice, and that's the main thing. So on those glasses you're wearing now, I'll then be placing in front of the lens one of these lenses here, and that will change focus. And then if you could tell me, um, first of all, which line you can read, the smallest line you can read, okay? And focus on that one, and that will be the way that we um, work out um, what to do with the lens, okay? So, without me doing anything, would you mind just telling me, in this current condition, what the smallest line of text is that you can read? And there's no pressure, it doesn't matter if it's the top two that you can only read. Okay. That's great. So what I'll do now is I'll just change the lights and I'll be back with you in a moment. Don't go away. Okay, it's got a bit dark in here now, but don't worry. There are no ghosts or anything that will come out and get you. What I need to do now is ask you to do basically the same as what we've just done with covering up your eyes. So if you wouldn't mind, if we could start please with the left eye. So if you could cover up your right eye, and I'll go around to the side of you. And this is where it gets a little bit intimate, so I do apologise in advance. So, if you wouldn't mind please just focusing on the smallest line of letters that you can read. Now focusing on that smallest line of letters, could you please tell me, is it clearer with the lens or without the lens? And again, is it clearer with the lens or without? Okay. And now is it clearer with this lens or without the lens? Clearer with or without? Perfect, thank you. And number one or number two? Number one. So focusing on that line, is it clear with number one or number two? I do apologise about the comments on it. Number one or number two? We'll just do that a little bit, oh, sorry. we'll just do that again, and I'm just going to make sure that the lens is as close as possible so that you get the maximum effect, okay? Okay, so, focusing on that smallest line again, is the line clearer with this lens, 
or without it, clearer with the lens or without the lens. And number one or number two. Number one or number two. Okay. With the lens or without the lens. That's wonderful, thank you so much, have a little bit of a rest. And I'll just pop round the other side of you to do your other eye, so if you could just reverse what you did, covering up the opposite eye and cover up the other eye. Is everything okay so far? Okay. Just going to go around the side of you now, the other side of you, and we're going to do the same sort of thing. So again, focusing on the smallest line, can you tell me please if it's clearer with this lens or without it? Clearer with the lens or without the lens? And number one. This lens or with this lens, the second one. So I said number one or number two. Okay. Number one or number two. Oh, I do beg your pardon. Didn't mean to hit you. Number one. And finally, number three, or number four. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to turn the lights back on, so don't go away. Okay, so for this section, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting up nice and close to you. It's going to be a bit intimate, I do apologise in advance, but I need to see um, a little more detail into each of your eyes. And that will involve me shining a light into them, so I get a good look at them. And I'm going to be asking you if you wouldn't mind just looking in the direction in which I ask you to look. Uh, so. I apologise, it's a bit of a bright light, and we're going to be getting our old friend the bed light out again. Can you still hear it? Oops. If you can hear it, that's a good sign. Now then. So, what we're 
going to do is I'm going to start with your left eye, so if you wouldn't mind just covering up the opposite eye with your hand, which would be your right in this instance. I'm going to go to the left side of you, and I'm going to look into your left eye and just do a few routine checks. Now, it's a bright light as I've mentioned, but um, try and ignore it as best you can. So, I'm going to be looking directly into your eyes, I'll be going round to the left side of you. So. so, I know it's a little bit unpleasant with the light, but if you could please start by looking directly to your left side. Focus just here now, okay? Just on the light. Thank you. Thank you, that's brilliant. Okay. Now, a little bit longer on this eye, so just again briefly up and to your left. Down to your left. Up and to your right. Down and to your right. Lovely. And into the light again directly sides so look comfortable in it. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. And now if you could do the same with your other eye, so Straight up to the ceiling again. Okay, perfect. And down to the floor. Great. Okay, okay. And across to your left. And across to your right. Okay. And just look straight into the light. sorts that bit out. Now, I'm just going to turn the lights off again, just so we can have a little bit of a colour test. Bear with me. Okay. Now, the room is ever so slightly going to change the colour of its light. Okay. What I'd like you to do, please, is as best you can keep your eyes on the orb that I have in my hand.
And please tell me what colour you think the room becomes, okay? Starting with colour number one. Keep following. What colour is the room? Perfect. Thank you. And colour number two. Perfect. Well done. Colour number three. Okay, great. Bit of a tricky one, that one. Colour number four. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. And back to number one again. Yeah. Great. Okay. Lovely. Just going to turn the light on again. Okay, so a few things for me to just write down. Won't be a moment. Do you have any plans for the rest of the day? actually one of the quickest eye tests that you can get. But it's thorough, just as thorough as the rest of them. Just got one final test for you. And the one final test is one of the most popular ones. And it's just a simple case of following where the light is going. Please cover up your left eye and we'll work on your right eye, okay? Okay, so follow the light with just your eye, don't move your head. Follow the light, excellent. Great. Yeah. That's very good. That's great. And now for the other eye, just to cover up the opposite eye and let's have a little look. So just follow the light. Keep following it with your eye. That's perfect. Keep focusing when it goes closer and further away. That's great. Yeah, you are very good at this. Very good, very good indeed. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. 
perfect. Wonderful. Good job. Now before you go, I've just got one more question for you. And that is... What colour is this orb to you? What colour do you think it is? Ah, interesting. Interesting indeed. Well, thank you very much. That's all I needed to know. It's something I've been pondering for quite some time. And you see, it seems to be a different colour to each person that I ask about it. But thank you. I'll just write that down. And you can be on your way. It's quite, it's one of the shortest um, eye exams that we do here, but it's just as thorough as all the other ones but also because you're such a great patient, we got through it very quickly. Okay, that's all done. So, um, I've got your contact details, and I'll send you through the results of this test, but it's been thoroughly lovely meeting you, and Hope you had a lovely test. It's been an absolute privilege and honour. Um, if you have any feedback for me, do let me know in the comments. And do please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye for now.